Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon Geeky Sparkle sitting this video out, but we're going to do an update on the box office with Avatar 2. Now, I'm sure a lot of you have probably gone to see Avatar 2 if you could get out because of Blizzard and COVID and diarrhea and whatever other excuse they're trying to give as to why people weren't going to see this movie in the numbers uh, that they were predicting. But uh, there is a lot of uh, kind of damage control being done by the media. What's interesting, though, is the movie is making money. I mean, it's making ridiculous money. Any other franchise, any other movie, this would have been considered a smashing success. But because it's Avatar and because the expectations were so damn high for this movie that Disney was banking on it, making at least $2 billion, preferably more, uh, you know, now there is some damage control being done. It's being spun like, well, you can't really... You can't really judge Avatar like you do other movies because, you know, it's not just about the money. It's about the message. Uh, no, it's about the money. It's about the fact that the movie misfired heavily in China, more so than they predicted. They didn't think it was going to be massive in China. They thought it would do well in China, but it was an outright failure in China. Uh, however, it is still doing pretty well. Uh, there are articles out here. Why are you picking on Avatar? Why are, why are you rooting for Avatar to fail? What's wrong with you? And this, I think, is the uh, the new update, the new software update for some of these uh, journalists and commenters I've seen. I literally have had people jump into our comments section, into my mentions on Twitter, and they've been saying some variation of this. And the weird thing is, is if they'd actually watched our video, we said we don't know how much money Avatar 2 is actually going to make, other than we are reporting on what other sites are reporting on, which is it failed in China and it's not looking like it's going to do as well as they were hoping, but it's still doing very, very well. Uh, but the programming seems to be like, you just want Avatar to fail. Why would you want this movie to fail? Why are you, why are you always trying to hurt poor Mickey's feelings? Poor Mickey. What did Mickey ever do to you? You just don't like Mickey Mouse very much. What's wrong with you? You must be an awful person. And then you'll get like 15 comments that all look essentially the same. So the bots are out in force uh, for sure trying to defend this movie. And I do think it's a corporate thing. Uh, I'm going to be honest. Uh, so we're going to talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news views. And Rants, guys, uh, over 283, almost 284,000 subs. Thank you for the support. We've been talking about Avatar 2 somewhat. Again, just to reiterate, for those of you who are stupid and who don't actually watch our videos, because I know there's so many people out there that have so many hot takes on Clownfish TV that prove time and time again that they don't actually watch our videos. Because if they actually watched our videos uh, and didn't just look at the thumbnails and make a snap decision based on what they think we're saying, and sometimes I do that deliberately, by the way. I do that deliberately just to see if you're paying attention. Uh, they would realize that we said the movie is going to make money. We don't know how much money it's going to make. But it needs to make a ridiculous amount of money because it is being held to a higher standard than other movies based on the budget and based on its predecessor's success. Uh, so let's, let's talk about this. So here's where we're at currently. As of Christmas Day, Avatar 2 The Way of Water tops $150 million worldwide. Wakanda Forever reaches 800 million. So Wakanda Forever is really dragging too. That was supposed to be another one. It was supposed to be this uh, slam dunk, massive, massive, massive hit right out of the gate. Uh, coming out of its second weekend, Avatar The Way of Water has banked an estimated 855 million globally through Sunday. Sophomore session added 168 million at the international box office in 52 markets for a 601 million running cube. Also overseas, uh, the highly anticipated sequel passed Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness and Minions, The Rise of Gru to become the number three biggest Hollywood grocer of 2022. It's also now the number five studio title of the pandemic era and will soon top No Time to Die, which was also an underperformer. <laughs> the offshore drop from uh, opening weekend was 42%, and that's with Christmas Eve falling on a Saturday and today being Christmas Day. Uh, it would be yesterday. Business on the 24th is generally quiet, with cinemas and many markets closing early, while the UK has traditionally closed on the 25th. Uh, some markets increased from last season or last session or just had single digit dips Israel, Hong Kong, France, Korea, Indonesia, and Ukraine. Ukraine, the ring in the Ukraine? Uh, Midweeks last were very strong, rolling up 69% of the opening Friday, Saturday, Sunday session uh, last weekend, excluding China. The sci fi epic is expected to continue that trend this week with vacations in full swing. 
Uh, China, the top market to date, dropped by 55% this weekend and added 25 million. That's not good. That's really not good. I'm sorry. It, it failed in China. Korea, the number two market, also had a strong Saturday-Sunday play and grossed 53 million so far. Uh, Puss in Boots did 16 million uh, overseas. Is that overseas? Global, yeah. So this is just global, right? So here in the States, Avatar made 56 million. Uh, 56 million is second weekend, which is pretty good, right? Sign the sequel may stay afloat into the new year and approach the massive expectations that met its release. And that's what we're going to talk about, the expectations. Uh, James Cameron's digital extravaganza for 20th Century Studios has made $253 million domestically in the first 10 days of release, compared to the $212 million in the same stretch for 2009's first Avatar, which would go on to become the highest grossing film of all time. Let's compare apples to apples. Tickets were a lot less expensive in 2009 than they are now. I want to know how many ticket sales. How many ticket sales do we have? Uh, while Cameron's films, like the original Avatar and Titanic, tend to have serious legs at the box office, sequels tend to open big and die quickly, complicating guesses on where the film will end up. That's all we're saying. Its second weekend drop-off from the $134 million it made in its first uh, week was not precipitous, given the way blockbusters open. This is James Cameron's first $100 million opening. Um, so the Comscore guy, whose last name I can never pronounce, uh, Durgariabedian diabetes uh for this movie to have opened that big and only dropped 58 percent shows it has staying power uh, and they talk about how it's made 855 million um and it put it behind only top gun maverick and jurassic world dominion it's also clear sailing for the film looking ahead the last you know the next big movie coming out is ant-man and the wasp um, the biggest foe that Avatar is facing at the moment is the weather and also the word of mouth, I think. Uh, so Puss in Boots did a distant second with 11.35 million. That's not good. That is not good. And I heard it was actually a pretty good movie. Uh, and the Whitney Houston movie, which I, I only found out existed last week, made $5 million. So yeah, there's not a lot of competition, right? But it's interesting because the media outlets are all like, James Cameron movies, you can't predict how they're going to do. And they have a, you know, there are different sets of rules uh, for James Cameron movie than there is every other movie. They're talking about the films being impacted by winter storms. They both had a winter storm. Uh, the holiday release window gives it more time. Uh, we've got uh, James Cameron's track record again. I mean, they're not wrong. I, I mean, people are forgetting, you know, The Abyss and some of the other movies he's done that were failures, but for the most part, his movies are huge movies. He doesn't put a lot of movies out, but the ones he puts out do have staying power. It's just, this is a different time than when these movies were released, when Titanic and Terminator and even the original Avatar were released, you know, so we don't know. Steve Colbert, oh my God, for Screen Rant, you can't predict the way of Waters box office. Uh, that's true. But this one, this one I thought was really interesting. Why are we rooting for it to fail? Uh, because Disney, because you hate Mickey Mouse. So let's let's scroll down here. Uh, the opening has been spectacular, but it's still being reported as disappointing because it, it was. They expected it to open bigger. I'm sorry. Uh, because the original was the highest grossing movie ever, the sequel needs to beat that to even matter in this strange zero-sum world of ours. Well, it's, it's actually financials. Uh, the word on the street is $2 billion is what they needed for it to break even. It's doing better than the first movie was a week into its release. Uh, financially, not ticket sales. And it's still being discussed as a bomb when it's probably going to end up nestling in the all-time top 10 when it finally leaves uh, theaters next year. It was a bomb in China. We didn't say it was a bomb, an outright bomb. It seems quite bitter, like the narrative of the movie being a failure has been decided already. Now we just need to slot the numbers into that argument, even if they upend it. Somebody's really ass-mad about this. Seriously, take it up. Take it up with these other media outlets, right? If you're talking about YouTubers, they're just YouTubers. You're supposed to be a respected journalist working for this this uh, uh, prestigious outlet called TheGamer.com. Uh, Avatar: The Way of Water has been a riotous success so far. Uh, I have not said that it wasn't. It's just not doing as well as they were hoping it would do. But it's still doing way better than most other movies. It's on course to pass 500 million by the end of the week, looking at a billion early into the year, uh, if not before. It has no competition as a popcorn seller until Ant-Man and the Wasp. 
Um, the way of water is going to be a smash in James Cameron's tongue and cheek comments that needs to break 2 million just to break even or being taken too seriously. No, I think that was actually the truth. I think it actually is the truth. But again, you know, it's probably Avatar 2 and 3. They're probably combining the, the budgets for that. Uh, I'm not sure if it will have the legs to be the original. The tech has less of a bring everyone you know factor to it, despite being impressive. Uh, I don't write this as a major Avatar fan. For a long time, I thought the original was just fine, although a big screen rewatch ahead of The Way of Water did not move those sentiments up a few notches, or did not move those sentiments up a few notches. However, I found the sequel to only be okay and a little messy in its focus and rushes to get to the major action showdown rather than letting the intimacy of the story sing. Uh, I've also never quite thought of the whole it's Pocahontas, Fern Gully dances with wolves thing either. It shares similar beats, but those three movies rarely are compared with each other. Eh, I don't know. I just thought it was overrated. It's a symptom of the way we currently discuss cinema, that we have people actively rooting for Avatar to fail. Uh, I think they want it to fail because of Disney. I think Disney is, I, I'm going to be honest, I think that's a huge factor. I think that people are so jaded toward Disney at this point, that they are boycotting Disney, that they're actively rooting for Disney's uh, financial destruction. And a lot of people are going to grasp at that. And I'm, in, I'm actually including major mainstream media outlets at this point. A lot of people are just like, we're over Disney. And I think that that is a big part of it. I think also there's a sentiment that Avatar is one of the most overrated movies of all time, which I agree with. Uh, you know, and a disclaimer again, I like Pandora in Disney World. I think that the world itself is a pretty interesting concept, but uh, the movie I thought was boring as hell. Um, the Way of Water's been a huge success, whether you like it or not. Not arguing that it hasn't been a success there, uh, random gamer writer, just saying it's not doing as well as they were hoping and it may not be the original. That's all we're saying. That's all we're saying. Oh, and it was a bomb in China. Okay, so I'm gonna wrap this up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, and we'll talk later.